Evening, 9.40, August 14th, 1872. I have done something awful to my child. It was a complete accident, I swear. After sewing some clothes, I had noticed that Masher was acting strangely. She wobbled and shook, so I went to see if she wasn't feeling well. It turns out that she was drunk. Probably got into the alcohol. I tried scolding her a little, but still wanted to help her to her room safely. But she started to get angry and violent. She snatched and clawed at me, snarling and rambling obscenities. I didn't know what else to do. I tried to block, but it hadn't dawned on me that the hand I used was the one still holding my sewing scissors. I sliced her right across her right eye. I was in such shock and terror. I tried seeing if she was alright. She just looked terribly stunned and confused. She suddenly murmured something under her breath, to which I inquired what it was. Get me the scissors. I heard her more clearly as she actually let me get close. I handed her the tools, and tried to hold her in a way that any mother would to comfort her child. Suddenly I felt a sharp pain in the lower part of my torso. She had stabbed me right in the womb. I looked right into both her blood-filled eye and cleared one. She had the coldest look I had ever seen her have. Stay there and bleed to death. She pushed them in further and then wandered away, leaving me to fall to the floor in shock. She didn't look back at me. Not once. I held my womb and closed my eyes, almost having the same wish as my daughter to die. Eventually, I heard the shrieks of Frida and felt her arms around me. She had tried patching my wound up by bandaging it with ripped cloth. She tried in vain to speak to me in English, but her tongue kept slipping back into German in her horror. I'm sure she was telling me to hold in there and that she was getting help but I hadn't intended to struggle or move anyway. How strange that the Count would be the one who saves my life. He said he'd have the doctor come for me in the morning, but the wound was superficial anyway. Does a certain part of him actually care? I honestly wasn't concerned about myself. I begged him to check on Heidi. I wonder if he actually will. 8 8 o'clock night. Maman tried talking with me. Why doesn't she get that I want nothing at all to do with her? I want the bitch to rot in the hell she built for herself and drag those around us into. I kept insisting she leave me alone, but she started to get invasive. I wanted to get out of my face, but she just wouldn't stop. I tried pushing her away, tried getting away from her, but then slice. There goes my fucking eye. She had scissors on her. I suppose she was sewing. I took them from her and stabbed her right back in the room which I came from. I hope she dies. Writing is hard with one good eye. Hopefully I haven't bled on the pages. 8, 16, 72, 9 o'clock morning. Vati found out about my eye and about Mama. She was saved and I was forced to rest all day yesterday and have my eye bandaged and look after. I couldn't fucking stand it. I kept ripping off the bandages and they kept forcing me to wear them. The offered for me to wear an eye patch once my eye had healed enough to not need the bandages. They said I probably wouldn't be able to see out of it from now on, or at least not good enough. I'd be damned if I wear an eye patch like Vati. Let the world see my disgusting wound. It's even viler if I have to resemble him. I already have his blonde hair. I even have the tone of his skin. Damn that woman for making it be the same eye as him. 11 1 72. One o'clock morning. I have something on Vati now. 
I saw that bastard with his eye patch on. I clouded right off his smug face. Ha! <laughs> it was hideous. You won't think he's so damn pretty without it on. When I took off his eye patch, he immediately covered up his face, vainly taking the best of him. Botty almost had a look of mortification and fear. You would almost think he was human. In the For whatever reason, the next pieces of the journal have been crossed out as though someone was trying to cover up what was said. I suspect my Vata must have done this in order to keep his pride and vanity in check. He beat me double time after he recovered his pride, but I feel as though it was worth it.